Hello and welcome to the second channel. Because people on Discord had uh, some questions about Reaper, this great software that just costs $80. I think I paid $80. Um, how I record my stuff and if I have any tips and tricks I use. Because um, the questions the people asked on Discord were pretty ridiculous. No offense, okay? Uh, we, are, we all have to start somewhere. First of all, there are uh, two different things you have to consider when recording in Reaper. First, I'm not going to show you everything, I'm just going to show you the few little things I care about. First one is this option. Record mode normal or time selection auto punch or auto punch selected items. I'll show you what that means. And the second thing you care you should care about is one of these things. Reaper just made an update, you know, it looks different and they added options, I think. Uh, don't care about this. I, I'm not sure what this is now. Uh, because I only care about this split existing items and add takes, default, or trim existing items, which is the tape mode. And tape mode literally means what it says, like recording a tape. You overwrite your recording. I'm going to show you what I mean. You can change the record mode down here with a right click, by the way. Uh, first, we're going to take record mode normal. Nothing fancy. You just do uh, the recording. Mm, okay. And... Uh, Let's say you're not happy with the recording, so you want to record it again. Then you hit record again. And what just happened is we had a tape recording, meaning we overrode what we just recorded before. It's still there, you know, we can... Huh? It's still there, as you can see, but we overrode it because we hit this uh, option. When you use split existing items and add takes, it does what it says. Take a look. Now you have your old take and your new take. And uh, depending on what you, what you um, uh, mark, focus on, uh, it plays the the take you that that's in focus. You see, so that's the difference between um, 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 split existing item and tape recording. I usually like the tape thing because um, you know just overwrite the old stuff once again. There's the tracks. Let's say you have a, a longer take or whatever. Then there's another interesting thing, which I use a lot. Uh, Whatever. And uh, you just want to change something in the middle, maybe. So what you do is change the recording mode to time selection auto punch. Then you can mark what you want to re-record. It should start recording here and end the recording here. So even though I was playing shit the whole time, it only recorded on this spot. Listen. And the full recording is still there. It means ah and ah. If you if you think ah, 
what I played around the um, time when I wanted to record was nice as well, you can use it, because it's there. Yes, that's the time selection thing. Very helpful, I gotta say. And the thing I don't use ever is, whoops, recording mode, is auto punch selected items. Um, you have a riff. something and um, you want to change several parts of the riff then you split the shit and uh, we have the recording mode activated you mark the parts you want to re-record watch Pink Floyd solo of the old album. And as you can see, it only recorded the parts we um, marked. Freaking hell, what's the English word? You know what I mean. We selected. That's the different things. Uh, so, normal mode, nothing fancy. Uh, it doesn't matter what you, uh, what, you, what you selected. It doesn't matter if you created a time selection. Nothing. Record mode time selection auto punch cares about the time selection. Record mode auto punch selected items cares about the items you selected. And the other thing, how it is recorded. Do you want to keep the old takes or do you just want to overwrite? Even though, you know, it's kind of the same, it's just a looking thing, because as, as I showed you, even though when you override the riff, the old riff is still there. And the case why the people asked in Discord was um, this one, like you have a riff. And you immediately want to... Uh, record further stuff after the riff but without overriding the riff so what we just learned is you create a time selection and start the recording whoops what did i do oh go done I hope that helped, I don't know, um, thank you very much, see you next time, and uh, yeah, tschüss.